Welcome to the Teapot Reads. I'm the Teapot. This is what I'm currently reading and I'm so happy to see you today. Today we're going to be talking about book subscription boxes. I love book subscription boxes. I am a big fan. I I subscribe to Illumicrate. They're, they're my favorite like stan them. I think they just make fantastic stuff across the board. I've been subscribed to them for a little over a year and a half, or actually just almost a year and a half I should say, not a little over, but I have been subscribed to them for a while and actually I timed this totally on, on accident, but I timed it perfectly. I initially subscribed to Illumicrate and Fairy Loot right before the pandemic hit. I subscribed in like January or February of 20. And it was really good timing because I had paid for the six month subscription in advance and I did a year of both of them. I ended up at the end of that year discontinuing my fairy loot subscription because I was just more disappointed with most of the boxes than I was pleased. Since then I've actually come to regret it because they've had a lot of really cool stuff in their boxes that I see in unboxings and they've had a lot of titles that I'm really interested in so I did end up actually resubscribing and my membership kicks in again starting with this month the July box so really excited about that I'm going to be a little more careful because you can choose with a uh, fairly like to skip a month or not so I'm going to be a little more careful if the book just doesn't sound like something I want a lot of times fairy loot does tend to skew to like a younger YA audience and that's fine I just a lot of those books don't appeal to me the same way whereas Illumicrate definitely goes older YA and like adult sci-fi and fantasy and like honestly across the board I think I've only been disappointed maybe with like one box from Illumicrate over the year and a half that I have been subscribed to them. I also I do a lot of their like special edition boxes same with Fairy Loot. I'm a sucker for special editions. If you look at my shelves you'll probably see a bunch that are just like Illumicrate or Fairy Loot editions. Other subscriptions I am actually a member of Goldsboro Sci-Fi Fantasy Book Club as well as their regular book club. I will probably discontinue the regular portion of the book club because those books just don't appeal to me the same way but I love the sci-fi fantasy one. They have had so many just beautiful books that I probably wouldn't have picked up without that membership but I'm, I'm really pleased. Also like 100% and subscribe to the DSFF for access to the EOTV edition that they're doing. So that actually worked out <laughs> really great. I've also done special editions from Owl Crate, Fay Crate, and Lit Joy Crate. I've never subscribed to any of those. I probably won't. I just overall their stuff seems like they have like one good thing per box and it's not worth the subscription every month for me but I do like taking advantage of their special editions when I can take advantage of it. I think I've done twice from uh from Owl Crate. I've done three times from Fake Crate but I haven't I've only received one of those uh, which was the Maiden Ship uh duet. And then for Lit Joy Crate, I did subscribe. I got their like monthly items only YA summer box, I think it was. And I did that just so I could get the Akatar Book Alley. Um, but I, I have also done like special editions. I have their editions of Strange to Dreamer and Muse of Nightmares and everything. So yeah, I just don't subscribe to those. They're, they're not as interesting to me. But I thought it would be really interesting and really fun to do a video that was like the best items I've received from bookish boxes. It just, I think it's, it'd be fun to go through like items that I find practical or lovely or just love getting in bookish boxes. There are, there's a lot of, not to be mean, but there is a lot of junk in book boxes. There's a lot of stuff that I just don't want and that just kind of ends up in a drawer or I donate it to like Goodwill or something. But I would say about two-fifths of the stuff is stuff that I, okay maybe more, more maybe like half the stuff is stuff that I actually love and I really wanted to just go through those things. So without further ado, first of all, blankets. I love blankets. They pretty much only come in special edition boxes. Um, let's see, this is a Vishwa blanket for the Edsom Illumicrate box. Then we have, oh, this is probably my favorite. This is the original that I got. This is the blanket for the chain of gold box. <laughs> um, and then more recently, this is from the From Blood and Ash box. Um, these are all Illumicrates. I really like blankets. They're fun, they're cozy, I use them all the time. Uh, you can never have too many blankets, like ever. I'm a very strong believer of that. And uh, kind of similar. Something else that's really cool to get in bookish boxes are mugs. I love mugs. I'm a big fan of mugs, uh, especially the Rosie Thorns mugs that Illumicrate puts out. I'll definitely be including a bunch of B-roll um, just because I want to make sure you can get all the details. I didn't, I didn't bring down all of them because I have a lot of them at this point, but this is the Vicious one. 
And we have, this is the Dark Artifices one. Oh my god, and probably probably my favorite, this is Strange Dreamer. Ah, I love, I love it so much. Um, and I actually really use mugs. I really love getting them. I like using them. I, they look lovely, they're useful, they're gorgeous. And then my most recent acquisition, so this is from, um, from the, from Blood and Ashes box. Let me, I'll give you a little closer look. So yeah, just like, look at that. They're gorgeous, okay? I love these so much. I love mugs, especially collectible mugs. So I like mugs, but sometimes I send like other drinkware that's like not mugs, but it's like mug alternatives. I like those kind of. This is from uh, The Beautiful and the Damned by Renee Audier, I think. It's cute. I, I don't use it for drinking. Um, it's cute though. I have a similar-ish it's uh it's not like a jar but it's like a, a portable tea keeper warmer <laughs> from owl crates addy box um that says the last word bookshop on it it's really cute it's way too high for me to get like these things are cute to put on display just like the mugs are but i, I just unlike the mugs i get like zero use out of them another thing that is like it's cute but i don't get much use out of it outside of like just putting it on display are pins i do like pins i appreciate that one of the boxes sent the pin banner because I had like nothing nowhere to hang these pins this is not all my pins I have a lot that just haven't even made it up onto the banner yet because pins they're cool but like I put them on the banner and then they sit there um and I I don't forget about them but I just don't look at them that often um they're a nice idea and they're a nice collectible but they are not my collectible of choice that that's not me saying there aren't some really lovely pins on here I there are so many pins on here that are just gorgeous and I'll definitely show you in like the b-roll um, just how many pretty ones there are. Looking at them now, some of them look slightly damaged, and I don't know what happened. <gasps> oh no, <laughs> what have I done? Bookends are also really cute. These are from the, uh, Daughter of Smoke and Bone box Illumicrate did. They're very cute, they're very cool. The, the footage isn't gonna do them justice. It's very hard to take pictures of these things. But they're very cool. I like bookends a lot. I'm, I'm in the middle of the bookends. Oh god. Um, <laughs> oh no. Um, I I like them. They're cute. They really are. I just don't have anywhere for them. I I it's partly I just don't have the space right now. I think that once I have space, if I get space, I will definitely put them on the display they deserve. But as it stands, like they're cute, but they're just decorative. I like them. They're lovely, but it's slightly useless, unfortunately. Another thing that is lovely and slightly useless are acrylic standees. And I'm a sucker for acrylic standees. I'm an absolute sucker. So I will do B-roll of more of them because it's just so many at this point. Um, but here's like, just for scale, we have uh, V.E. Schwab and, and um, Reese, Rice, how do you, Rye, Re, I don't know how you say the name, um, and Alucard here. Um, my fingers are crossed that there is going to be acrylic standees in the... Okay, this isn't confirmed that Illumicrate is doing an exclusive EOTV, but like, I'm pretty sure they are, and I really hope they're acrylic standees of the characters. Like, I would die for them. I would die. Just like Dior and Gabe, please. But like, if you wanted to do them all, that would be cool too. Like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying new to that. Not not to like make this a video about like guessing what's in the September box for a Lumicrate, but I would like I would um I would love one of these these types of things too. So um let let me let me show you. Props. I love props. If there was a book box just dedicated to making bookish props, like I would sign up. I don't care the cost. I freaking love it. Here we have the Mortal Cup which is awesome. And we have a Thurible from Daughter of Smoke and Bone. And oh my god, what these things blow my mind. Blow my mind. I'm pretty sure yes. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's broken except my pride. <laughs> this is from Fairy Loot. This is from Illumicrate. I love these both to death. They're some of my most favorite items to have received. There are some bookish items that I've changed my mind about whether I like getting them or not. And one of those items are candles. I used to love getting candles. I still enjoy them. However, I have actually recently learned I'm 
allergic to most candles. They make me stuffy. It basically it's like regular springtime allergies, except candles, uh, which is sad because I have so many because I love candles and I don't love just letting candles sit and collect dust. Like they are cool, but I I I don't know. It just feels like a waste not to burn them. So I do objectively love candles, but allergically cannot love candles, and it is such a shame. The next thing on the list are book sleeves, and these are not, again, all of them because it's a lot to pull down, but book, book sleeves and book jackets. This is new. It's a book jacket. I've never used one of these. You, like, put the hardcover in here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm curious to try it out. I just don't know what, which hardcover I'd use it on because I already take the covers off, but we've got, like, a bunch of book sleeves. This is, this is something I definitely wouldn't have bought on my own. It's something that I only have because of bookish boxes, and I find them incredibly helpful, incredibly useful, and beautiful, you know, items. I love them. I love getting them. Um, yeah, and I am. I'm really grateful that, basically, book boxes got them for me, because it's something that has made me feel safer bringing books around with me when I travel, even if it's just to work. For, for a long car ride, but I feel a lot safer with them. But while book sleeves are incredibly useful, regardless of what fandom they're involved in, I kind of have different feelings for journals, which also come in a lot of book boxes. If it's not a fandom I'm interested in, I probably won't use the journal. I also probably won't use the journal if it's if it's shoddily made, and I have gotten a fair few of kind of crappy journals from book boxes. Which, you know what, you, you say a journal is a journal, but it's not. There are some journals that are better than others. This one's okay. It's more of a sketchbook. Whoop. It's more of a sketchbook. But if nothing else, it's really pretty. It's got a V.E. Schwab quote on it, and it's got just, like, great vibes. And it's lovely, okay? It's lovely. So even if I'm not using it, I'm, I'm still appreciating it more than I do, like, some of the, the less nice ones. So, uh, like candles, there's another item that... I switched opinions on since my first one, I guess. And this has actually gone the other way. I started off being like, oh, these are kind of useless, but I ended up really liking them. And those, let me go grab them. And those would be bookish pots. I I just, I didn't find much of a use for them at first. These are just two of them. I, I didn't want to pull them all down. That was a lot. Um, I like them. I think they're very cute. They line up nicely. And I use them to actually hold a lot of things. Like this one typically is holding my tarot deck. And this one, what I tend to use it for, and this is what I think works perfectly in it, I like to put bookmarks in there. And bookmarks are, are another thing that I love getting from bookish boxes. So these are some of the character artwork ones. And I'll definitely put B-roll in just to show you, but we have like Akatar characters. They're just lovely. I love these. Ah, I love them. We've also got Truth Witch characters. Which I think I actually love more because getting Truth Witch merch is so hard to get. Okay, it's so hard to get. Now, do I use these bookmarks? It depends on the bookmarks. These I don't use. These are exclusively for me to just look at and make myself happy. There are a lot of bookmarks that I get in bookish boxes, though, that I do end up using. I find them very helpful. I will often lose bookmarks or I'll just, like, forget that I left it in the back of the book when I put it on my shelf. And then I'm like, where did my bookmark go? And then I find it, like, months later. I'm like, oh, it's still in the book. <laughs> Something else that is very fun that I love to look at and that is... <laughs> unfortunately buried under some stuff right now. I really should have pulled this out, but I'm so sorry. It's it's a bit hard to get to kind of last minute, but they are the Fairy Loot Tarot cards. I love, first of all, I love that they're collectible. Second of all, I, I love, I love, 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 love the art. And I love that a lot of characters that don't normally get a lot of character art are on the tarot cards. Like, there's a lot of great representation for characters who I, like, we don't see a lot of representation for just because they're not, like, as popular or their series isn't as popular. So I do love that. I love that very much. Now, we're kind of going to bridge over to the most useful items I've received from bookish boxes. And we are going to start with that. This is something I use every day. I'm not even kidding when I say I use it every day. And that... <laughs> Is this eternal calendar? I got it from an owl crate. I seriously, it is part of my daily ritual. Ah! <laughs> it's part of my daily ritual uh, when I wake up in the morning to make sure that I correct the date on here. It's a kind of oh, we are sinking. Key. Okay. Oh no. Uh, no. Are you okay? Um. It's 
part of my daily morning ritual. I don't feel like I've really started the day until I've actually changed this over. I find it incredibly helpful, incredibly useful. Uh, it actually helps me keep track of what day it is. I keep it right here next to where I sleep because... I, 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 it's so easy to lose track of days, especially in retail, and that really helps. Now we're getting into like the god tier items. This pencil case. Maybe it's just because I didn't have a pencil case before, but it is super useful. It's really cute. It's from last September's Illumicrate, I think. October or September's. It's just so helpful. It holds a bunch of stuff. I use it every day. It's got like my daily bullet journaling materials in here. It's just, it's just perfect. And so the top has come off a couple times, but it's easy to fix. And you can't even tell it's been broken, but now, but, but now to the number one favorite item I've ever received from a bookish box. And this, yes, did come from a special edition bookish box. And no, I've never received another one of these in any box ever. It's my favorite thing I've ever gotten. It's a lens wipe for my glasses. I feel, I'm so weird, but this is literally my favorite item. I use it multiple times a day. I used it in the process of filming this video. I've used it multiple times. Uh, it's cute. It's got Lila and a la carte on it, but like even if it didn't have them, I'd probably still use it all the time because I, I, I really needed one. I don't know why I didn't have one. I love it. This is like the super god tier item in any bookish box ever. Ever. I love it to death. Seriously. Seriously. Of all the really cool items I get, it's the really simple hope one that, that means the most to me. I am totally down for more like regular use items with just like bookish stuff on it. Oh, I'm going to swing back around that way. So that is it. That's it for me. I, this was a fun video to film. Um, I hope that in editing it looks the way I want it to. I hope it's not like dizzying for you guys. I just wanted to have some fun because this is an interesting topic, but I also thought it would be, you know, like even more interesting to shake it up with just how it's filmed. So yes, these are these are some of my favorite things I've gotten in bookish boxes. This probably isn't a complete list. Like there are some art prints that I love. Uh, there's a set of playing cards that I really like. But these are like my top tier favorite items or items I guess that were at one point favorites and just like aren't anymore. But this is like what I like to see in in bookish boxes. And honestly, I love, I love subscription boxes so much. I love getting mail in the first place, and getting bookish mail is just like always a treat. But yes. Thank you. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for being here. If you want to see more content like this, I try to post at least once a week, so you can definitely subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more of my face, more of my reading, more of just adventures and, and book stuff, I, well, I'm really grateful you are here. So thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you're having a great day. If it is cold where you're at, I hope you're staying warm. And if it is warm where you're at, I hope you're staying comfortable. But most of all, I hope you're reading a great book. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.